This medieval town is really starting to come together. What are we going to do next on the Alamancia Peninsula? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Avamancia Peninsula. Yep, we are going to be doing some more work over here. Now, this is going to be the last episode for a couple of weeks, only don't worry, it's coming back, because I've got to take a little bit of a break and go and do some other stuff, and Avamancia probably takes more time than anything, so this one's got to take just a little break for a couple of weeks. Do not panic, it will be back, but today... I was thinking I might do the whole thing in shaders just because it looks like this. I can't believe I've been playing this since 2015 and this is, whilst I've used shaders before, this is really my first true discovery of shaders and I'm wondering whether or not I should just play in shaders from now on, you know, because it's quite nice. For tutorials I won't, I'll keep tutorials as um, just standard default so you can follow it along, but this is quite nice. What do you reckon, Yellowy? What do you reckon? Is this, should it be a shader-esque thing from now on? I might chop and change it. Do it sometimes, do it not other times. I don't know. Literally don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. So we're going to be staying outside. I've got a bit, I've got my teeth into the outside really. So I want to carry on with that without, you know, losing my, um, losing my momentum as opposed to losing my religion. And just go and look at that. That's... It's a thing of beauty. I love this. It, it makes such a massive difference, doesn't it? Um, let's jump into the water because the water's lovely now. Look at that. It's lovely, yummy. Right, and come along. We've got loads of librarian edges. Look, loads of them. It's like a, a full-on book convention going on around here. The city guards wandering around aimlessly. They're useless. They've done literally nothing for me since I employed them. But what I want to do is I want to come into the central area here and out this side because unfortunately we've got more villagers than we've got beds and as a result we've got people living on the street and that's never good right so what we're going to do is we're going to build up this area around here i've got any food i've not got any food oh. right i'm going to go and get some <laughs> i can't believe i come out without any food we're going to go and get some food and once i've got the food I'm going to go and start building up and we're going to put some, just some small buildings. We'll put some workstations in there so some of these guys can have, no, don't, look, don't get distracted. Go, you need to eat, man. Look, you've got four haunches missing. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Okay, so I officially bottled it. It was doing my eyes in. I'm not used to the shader pack and it was making my eyes go funny, especially when the sun was rising and setting. I couldn't actually see what I was doing. So... I've come back into thought, but we'll go back into shaders and have a look at it a little bit later on. And maybe some surprise shaders halfway through. Probs not. So I've brought myself over a chest of goodies. Why did you not bring it over in shulker boxes, Avo? I hear you ask. Well, point one, my shulker boxes appear to be full of stuffs. And I might need to do a bit of an end run to get some more shulkers. But there's, there's some lurking around. But... And also, I'm a bit of a, a pre-shulker traditionalist, what can I tell you? So this is what we're going to start making stuff. It's a bit jumbled, isn't it? It's what we're going to start making stuff out of. And I'm not going to do anything massively fancy or surprising, to be honest. We're just going to make some nice, humble abodes that work with uh, and are in keeping with the rest of the surroundings. So I think what I'll do is I'll literally, at a right angle replicate this fella uh, that's a four and how wide was that one one two three four five six oh hello what i've not done anything officer i promise you one two three four five six seven eight nine so will that fit one two three four five six seven eight nine it will just fit but i don't know right i might have to move out these fences then because that won't work if we've got fences touching like that. But that will work. Okay, we can make that work. That's fine. One, two, three more. That can come across like that. How deep did it make it? Was it the same? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's got to come back seven. Please don't hit the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got away with it. One, two, three, four, five, six and 
Seven, got away with it. One, two, three, and four. Cause that's down one. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So I can just make my struts. I'm gonna hurt myself in a minute. There. So let's let's get this cracking. I feel some momentum coming on. Because I quite like the idea of so how did I make this? This was just was that just stripped oak. I've I got two stacks of stripped oak in here. So all I'm gonna do is literally make if I put that door to the side, yeah, on there, that's quite nice. There and there. Uh there. Don't get in my whack off. Oh, they're really annoying when there's too many of them. For goodness sake, man. Right. Are you a man? I don't even know if you are a man. Come and get out of the way. Go on. I've not got any I've not got any treats. There we go. Right, so that is where we got I've not got any doors either, I've just realised. What did I do for the floor in this fella? Did spruce. Uh spruce I have. Don't no, don't drop that. I need that. Um, get my shovel. Right, I'm just going to crack on with this, I think. And I'll be back when I've done a bit more around the place. We've added a couple of extra little houses in here. So there's the one that I just started there. It's an almost match for that. It's pretty similar. It's not the same inside. You can see they're already... Why, why are the city watch all around the door? They're all kind of inside but this is a this is a butcher's house there's a little bit of blood on the floor because i didn't wash their hands properly there's three butcher spaces here so i can get a little bit more tradey meat type stuff and then over here i used my one and only fletching table that i blatantly stole from a village not that far away it's the only one i've got i've not got any more so that's the only fletch so somewhere around here i'm hoping a fletcher has been generated you, is there a Fletcher in there? I just want to have a look. Hang on. Let out the way, for goodness sake. No, no Fletcher in there. I'm, please let a Fletcher have worked. Can anybody see a Fletcher? Funny app. There he is. Oi, oi, Fletch. What are you doing? So sticks and... That's rubbish. But, oh, you're a bit rubbish. I'm going to have to see if I can trade you up and get, get you to master level because that's a bit pants. It's a very basic house, is the Fletcher house, because I figured, and this, there is an element of logic behind this, I figured that they're only flogging arrows, aren't they? So they're not going to be making a fortune, so they're going to be living quite frugally. So that's a frugal house, unlike people that sell meat that's a little bit more oomphy. So I need to carry on, because we've got a load of space out the back here. I might field this bit up, you know. I might turn this bit into fields. I might put some more houses around this side and then see how we go from there. But I, I don't want to house up completely around the pond because that's going to be, theoretically, I reckon that's going to be a bit of a leisure area too. I don't know. Let's have a crack. So I'm flying down to the mate space. I thought I'd do a bit of a dive bomb because it'd be a laugh. And uh, we're going to put some people into the Hall of Heroes and one person into the mate space in a minute that I'm actually genuinely embarrassed I have not put into the mate space. In fact, there are a few people that I'm genuinely embarrassed I've not put into the mate space yet. And I'm hoping that, well, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be rectifying that because it is beyond embarrassing. Before we do that, we're coming in here. Now, if you have got the desire to skip over this bit um go and get your bumps read go and see a psychiatrist and then jump to the timestamp that is in the description below but I, I get it if you don't want to watch but lots of people do this bit is an exciting bit and i enjoy this bit very very much so we have got a couple of new members it's really really great that you've chosen to become members uh through the youtube link so thank you me j l u k is that me j luck Medj luck me J L U K. I don't know. You tell me in the in the description below, in the comments below. How do I say your name? But you're looking good, clad in leather, atop that glowstone block. And Sally, Sally Purcell, thank you very much for joining the uh, ranks of the members. It is really good of you to take that decision to support me that way, and I'm very very grateful. Thank you very very much. Coming through past the doggies into the hall of patrons, we have got a few friends to say hello to today in here too. Come down the stairs. And yep, yeah, we're already starting to lap. 
absolutely amazing. So I've got a few people that I want to say hello to. Skyen. Skyen, you're looking fabulous in Iron there, my mate. Thank you for joining the Cobblestone ranks. It is really, really good to have you as a patron. Thank you so much. Slime Styles. Slime Styles, I've put you in the middle of this can-can because I heard you had a very strong elbow. So thank you so much for becoming a Cobblestone patron. I'm really grateful that you decide to support me like that. Justin Tazewell, Justin, thank you for joining the ranks. You, like Slime, I heard, have got very, very strong triceps. And as a result, not only can you wear iron, but you can support the whole row. Thank you very much for joining the ranks. Rubber Woden, Rubber, thank you very much for becoming a Cobblestone patron. Really looking forward to seeing you uh, on Avatopia, hopefully, but I'm grateful for you to offer your support. Dan Beniel. Dan, thank you for becoming a Cobblestone patron. It's brilliant to have you in the ranks and I'm really delighted to have put you clad in steel atop a Cobblestone block. Pekiti, 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 don't know. You tell me in the comments below, Pekiti or Pekiti. Pekiti is option A, Pekiti is option B because I don't know you'd write it in any other way. So thank you so much, you're on the end. So you're effectively lifting everybody up with your right arm. That is impressive. Thank you for joining Cobble. It is brilliant to have you on the team. And Melinda L. Stevens, Melinda, thank you so much. You might be on your own in this row at the moment, but I'm hoping you'll have some mates soon. Really, really good that you would decide to join me in this cobblestone patron hall. Thank you so, so much. Running through to Redstone now, I've got to go. I literally, I need like some kind of teleport, don't I, to go from one room to another in this place. Now it goes all over the place. Coming down and across here through the primary all here into the and more heroes room and coming across last week it was clay was the last one last week so rabid rhino rabid rhino thank you i know you're already in the avatopia discord it is brilliant to have you there and good to have you on avatopia thank you so much for becoming a redstone patron looking fantastic right splat bang in the middle of this row clad in still med pokemon med pokemon thank you so so much for becoming a redstone patron your support is invaluable really grateful and i hope this doubly reinforced iron armor protects you from the forces that are on you on this massive great long can can row here and chicky d as i record this chicky d joined an hour ago so you literally just made it under the wire uh, so thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. It is brilliant to have you on the team and uh, it's good to be able to chat with you on Discord and I look forward to seeing you on Avatopia. We have another person to say hello to. This one, very exciting, known for ages. Where'd I put you? I can see you there. Koala girl, Koala girl, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for becoming a diamond patron. I had this block especially carved for you. On the back side, it's got a picture of a koala, but I can't tell you because it's very private and personal. So I can't show it, but just know that there is like a, a koala on the back, honest, honest, yeah, honest. And it is brilliant that you would have decided to join the uh, diamond ranks i'm so grateful thank you so much you've been a supporter for such a long time and uh, you are just an absolute star thank you very much debbie i'm really really grateful to you absolutely brilliant that you choose to so that is amazing now this is pre-recorded so don't panic as you watch this if you've become a patron and you're not in the hall i pre-recorded this i think two maybe more than two weeks ago as you see this so please don't panic i haven't forgotten you if you want to become involved in patreon and get oh it's dark out there if you want to become involved in patreon and um get a whole of hero statue and maybe join us on avatopia it's dead easy go to avamance.com that is avamance.com and there is all the details for the benefits of being a patron plus how you can get onto the avatopia server it is a great community and it'd be really brilliant to see you there i'm gonna have a kip and in the day we're gonna go and do a mate it is daytime now however i am checking for creeperage because you know they do tend to creep up on me a little bit don't they uh hence the name george seriously this is becoming embarrassing now what are you still doing you are i've not tethered you ever there's no lead involved there you just literally are stuck aren't you dude mate i'm so sorry but i'm also not going to move you let's grab myself a sign i have got someone very important to put in the mate space today and i'm actually genuinely 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 embarrassed that i've not put this person in the mate space yet they are a superb individual and i am i can't believe i've not done it yet frankly episode 93 you should have been in like episode 10 dude what's going on this is ridiculous but today in the mate space i'm putting in 
Voss, mate, how can you not be in here? And having written Voss, there's someone else that's going to have to come in uh, very soon as well that isn't in here yet. It's ridiculous, Voss. Why haven't I put you in here? You are in here now. And I'm so sorry it has taken me so long to get you in here. That's absolutely mental. You are the last person in this section of the mate space. So I'm going to have to build an extension for when I get back off of my holiday. So thank you, Voss, for everything you do for me. You are an absolute top guy. And as a result of being top guy, I'm going to attempt to set fire to your feet. Yes. I hope they are smouldering. Brilliant. Thanks so much, mate. It is a pleasure to be able to add you to this group. It is long, long overdue. Let's get ourselves back. Well, it only took a couple of bounces, didn't it? So I've lined up four more houses. There's this one, which I think is going to be another smaller um, farmer's house. I might thatch that roof. It's a bit close to this wall. Do I need to move the wall? I'd really rather not move the wall, but perhaps I've got to move the wall. I don't know. We'll see how that one goes. And I've got these other three, this little one here, which has totally flown in the face of me saying that I wanted to keep this area for leisure. Might leisure up the other side. That one there, and then you can see... Ow! I missed it. I missed me jump. That don't happen very often. Not. And this other one here as well. Um, and I think... I think that's probably going to give me the opportunity to add a number of beds. Not finished, obviously. Then we need to put some fieldage and perhaps make this a little bit more attractive as well so right first up let's crack on with the farmers one because i know what i'm doing on that one. Oh, hang on I've, I've got yeah i've got to go and get all of the um various bits and pieces for the farmers one hang on get get onto the oh get onto the path mate for goodness sake right so we're going to get various ones for the farmers one where's my there's the thing Right, I'm pretty sure I put, yes, I did, 32. 32? I'm going to need more than that. It's looking pretty decent, actually. I'm quite pleased. Let's just jump across. So I've created essentially the same building. It's very close to being the same building there. And you can see on the outside, it's a little bit like that over there. It's very, very similar. All very good. Inside, full-on basic. We've got a load of composters. You're not going to turn into a farmer, are you? Not with that green on you. Why have you not turned... Oh, you have. Why is there a butcher in here? You're just visiting. Okay, fair enough. So we've got a couple of farmers that have meandered over already. But this path, I decided... Let me put all the bushes... Oh, creeper! Don't you blow my stuffs up. Thank you very much. Um, shall I go and get you? I'm going to get the experience. Might as well. You never know when it's going to be useful. And the gunpowder. So, oh, you want a piece of me as well? How have you survived? What's... Oi! You lot! Up there! Did you see that? Are you just eating donuts or something? And spinning around on a sugar high? For goodness sake! You're meant to be... Oh, there's another creeper there. I know you don't do creepers. But you're meant to do... There we go. That's better. Oh, there's another one. And another one. Look, they're all spawning in now. What's going on with that? There we go. Where's this last one? Don't hit the cow. Oh, that was well short. One. That, did you see that absolute pile of zombies come? Right. Oi, city guard. You lot. Yes, you lot. You are meant to be. And look at them. Look at them. There's a bazillion of them. Go and get them. Go and get them. Go on. You're meant to be like city guardian. Get on with it. Yeah, I'm just going to watch the carnage. I might shoot you for fun. This is what it's all about. Come on, city guard. So you can cope with them. That's easy, right, for you. Look at that. Amazing. They keep on coming, though, don't they? I might have to. I think what's happened now, we've got to the point where it's so light that we don't actually have that many areas left. Have I got anything? I've got some torches in my inventory. I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to light this area up. And we're going to start to lose the places that are going to cause me problems. There we go. So now this area is going to be far less likely to spawn anything. Which is a good thing. Down here as well. 
Why not? I'll have to get rid of these eventually, obviously. Thank you, City Guard. You've actually managed to do half of what your job was. The other half was to notice them in the first place. And you failed on that front categorically poorly. There we go. So that's some, some light down there. Hopefully, we'll get less horribles now. I reckon we've only gone and done it, I'll tell you. So I'm walking through down this way past Mr. Butcher. Hello, Mr. Butcher. All oh, the city guards still out and about. So this is down by the little lake that I've built. So we've built up this one here. We built that one across there. We built that one across there. And obviously we did the um, the farmer's one across that way. So just really, really simple little houses is what we've done. But it works. So we've got a little cartographer's place in here. You can see it's got just a crafting table, a cartography table, very little else. We boost it out around the back so as it all runs through and the path comes along and joins up this way. We've got a nice little area there that people can go swim in. The path continues around this side. We've got a little house there with a couple more beds, lots of flowers and more bushes coming around here. A little sanded area, obviously. Inside here, just got a little housing area. Getting more and more of these villagers in a bed, basically, is what we need. And then coming up this way, you can see that we've got kind of nice, nice view in this direction as well. And this comes around. We've still got loads of villagers without professions and beds. It's utterly embarrassing, the homelessness. And then we're down into the square, which I reckon looks pretty cool. I have to say, all in all, this area of Avamancia is coming on beautifully well. We have blatantly overused crazy amounts of bushes, but it works. It's massively overpopulated. I need to get more beds and houses in here somehow to sort out this homelessness that we've got going on here because it's absolutely bonkers. Lots of nitwits, though. That's the thing. No professions for them, fellas. Now, remember, no Avamancia for the next couple of weeks. Taking a bit of a breather, but it will be back in what one two three friday's time so don't forget to come back and have a little peek and see what we're doing next time perhaps a few custom trees need to be built in we need to merge in these harsh roads in the background there into this more soft palette if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them perhaps not with the use of a sheep also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button It'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.